Hey guys, welcome back to InfoStack Patch Channel. In today's little video, what we're going to be doing is setting up a small home office network with a Cisco router, two switches, and four desktops. Okay, so we're going to have Office A in one net network space, which is 10.1.10.0 with a 24-bit mask. And then we're going to have Office B with a 10.1.20.0 slash 24-bit uh, address space. Okay, so let's get cracking. Thanks again for uh, coming to uh, join my channel, and let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's go ahead and learn for all the new Cisco people that want to learn about setting up small networks, or if you've been you know given a task that you want to you know set up a switch and a network and a router and maybe some stuff at home. Uh, hopefully, this uh, little little tutorial will help you out with it. Okay, so. Let's get cracking. So we're going to use, I don't know, 29, 29.11 router. We'll name this R1. Okay. And we'll have to have two switches. We'll have two 2960s. Okay. For each side of the office. And then we'll have two machines over here. Two machines over here. Perfect. And then we're going to have to put some IP addresses on them. So I'm going to do PC1. And on this side of the house, this side of the office, we're going to have 10.1.10.2, right? And then on this PC2, we're going to assign 10.1.10.3, OK? And there's a 24-bit mask. But let's go ahead and put that configuration in here on the desktop IP configuration. We're going to statically assign these IPs so we can communicate between Office A and Office B. Okay, so 10.1.10.2. Okay, and it's going to be a 24 bit mask. This is written in dotted decimal. And then our gateway is going to be 10.1.10.1. That's going to be our gateway address when we have that all configured and up and running and all that good stuff. Okay, let's do the same thing for PC2 configure the IP address of 10.1.10.3 with the 24-bit mask and 10.1.10.1 that's for that side of the house all right so now let's go to PC3 and over here we're gonna make this 10.1.20.2 okay perfecto and PC4 we're gonna have 10.1.20.3 Okay, so now we have these three PCs. This is going to be, you know, sales on this side and then IT on this side. Okay, or whatever you, however you want to design it. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and get the connections out. So we're going to have a straight through cable from my PC to the switch. I want to put it in switch port one. Likewise for the next PC, I want to put it in switch port two. Whoops, or three. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess God wanted me to do it there. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this into the mix. We'll bring this into port one. And just to make it the same thing, we'll put this in port three. We like to skip things. OK, so from gigabit one on my switch, because this is the uplink to the router, we want it fast, fast and furious. So zero one, gigabit zero slash one, to gig zero zero, OK, on that side of the house. And then from the switch over here, we'll do gigabit 0, 1, 2, 0, 1 here. Perfect. Now we have our network up. Now we just did all the cabling, did all the, f the hard work, right? Now we can sit down and type away. So first things first, let's go ahead and open up our router. OK, so as you see, when you open up this router, let's make this big. When you open up the router, you're going to hit no here. And what we're going to do here is hit enable. And what I want to do is I want to make sure you guys can see this. Let's see if you guys can see it. Uh, uh, maybe I have to bring it over just a little more. Then I can't see everything. So I'm just going to have to go back and forth. All right, so let's just make it so the lighting is a little better. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's so we can use some of the white background to um, to see me because I know the lighting is bad. Okay, so if we do an IP 
or show IP interface brief and you hit the tab and auto auto uh, auto generates the command so now we have everything is down everything is not configured nothing is working right because if we go back here we see everything is red so you know if we go back to our PC if we do an IP config from your desktop on your computer you say oh I want to be able to ping out to the router ping 10.1.10.1 Wah, wah, wah. It's not going to be able to because the router's down. All right, so let's go back into the router. Now we're going to have to go into config terminal. Okay, so now we're going to go into the interface gigabit one zero slash one. What zero slash zero? Because that's side this side of the network, right? Uh, zero slash zero. Okay, perfect. So now with this, we can just do a question mark if you're not familiar with the commands. Question mark is everyone's best friend, especially when you're getting into Cisco. So we can do an IP address and we're gonna do 10.1.10.1 .1 because this is gonna be the gateway to the router and a 24-bit mask. Okay, perfect. Now we have to bring the interface up. So with that command, we can do no, sh we can do actually do question mark. Okay, so here, Shutdown is shutting down. Obviously, we want to say no shutdown because I don't want to shut down. So we do no shutdown, okay? Now, if we come back here, it's going to start populating and spanning trees. So if we go into the switch, actually, we can see, see if I can bring this up here, and we do enable show spanning tree, we can see it's learning at the moment. So it is, it's, it's, it's learning, uh, listening, sorry. Uh, and now it should be learning. And then once it's done learning, and it's going to be into FWD, which is a forwarding state. Let's give that a second. Now it's forwarding. Perfect. So now if we go back to our desktop, now we should be able to ping. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. We're pinging. We're pinging, baby. Okay, so that's that. But now we have to, now site A or office A is up all the salespeople, whoever on this side is happy because they can communicate and they can get out to the internet or whatever they want to do. Okay. But these guys are like, yo, where's my stuff? And I said, okay, give me a second. Let's get it up. All right. So let's exit here. Okay. So we're now we're going to go into, uh, let's go back for a second. And it's gigabit zero one. Perfect. So let's go into interface gigabit zero slash one. And now we did the same thing. IP address 10.1.20.1 with a 24-bit mask because that's the network that we're gonna that is the network that we're gonna be utilizing on uh, Office B, right? And same thing, no shutdown. Now we have that up, and we have to same, wait for the same thing, spanning tree and all this good stuff to work on here. Let's go back here, see if we can catch it. Show spanning tree right there. It's listening, learning. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, yes, it's going to take a second longer than I thought. Oh, I guess now it should work. Now it's forwarding. Uh, okay, cool. So now our network's up. All right. Now the big test. So on PC4, my address 10.1.20.3, from this PC, I should be able to ping through. Let's see if I can get a little, little pen action going on here. I want to show you something. Maybe I'm going to blow up my machine. All right, so let's bring this over here. Okay, so this is going to go through here, through the router, come through here, and this is going to be my my end result. I'm going to try to get to this address, okay? So let's go back into desktop, IP config. We can do an IP config to verify my IP address. My PC3, I don't have an IP. Did I not configure that? Oh, man. Totally forgot to configure this side. Whoops. All right, so let's go ahead and configure this. Desktop. Oh, man. I'm silly. All right, so 
0.3, and then 255.255.255.0, okay, and then 10.1.20.1, okay, this is all live, man, this, this is what you get, troubleshooting, I'm glad that happened, actually that happened for a reason, to troubleshoot. Okay, so now if we go back into here, we do an up arrow, IP config, now we have the IP address settings, okay? So now, technically, if we ping to 10.1.10.2, it should reply because now it's going through this router to the switch to the host, okay? Perfect. So now that is that. Now let's go ahead and ping from PC2. to PC4, now it's replying, okay? So now what we can do is, remember I told you about the routing table, let's go back into the router and do show IP route static, or show IP route, show IP, or connected. So these are the IP of directly connected routes on our router, but if you you could do also show IP route, and that'll show all the codes. For an example, EIGRP, OSPF, um, BGP, RIP, static routes, and all this good stuff. And maybe I'll make some videos on these different protocols. But hopefully, this is a a good entry level. So you now you can go to your boss or go to to your friends and explain how networks work, how you can configure a network to have you know. Once one network communicate with the other. All right, so hopefully it's been informative for you guys, and I really thank you guys for checking me out. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, tell your friends and family, and I enjoy every moment of this, so enjoy the journey. Cheers, man.